Hi guys. Hope you are well and enjoying the supercars exciting videos on my channel hmk.supercars. Before going forward if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please subscribe and hit the bell button too, so that you can get the latest video notification in time. Supercars are some of the most desirable vehicles around, and consequently, they attract high price tags. Both the Audi R8 and the Lamborghini Huracan are prime examples of this, with both brands being part of the vast Volkswagen group. Despite having a lot in common, their price tags are certainly one area where they differ. The Lamborghini Huracan costs upwards of $206,295, while the Audi R8 retails for a significantly cheaper $151,895. The disparity might be hard to justify financially, and here are 10 reasons we would buy the R8 over the Huracan. Number 10. It offers more bang for the buck. One of the many components the Audi R8 shares with the Huracan is its beating heart, the wild V10 power plant. The engine is naturally aspirated, producing 620 horsepower from 5.2 liters of displacement. The R8 has a rapid 206 miles per hour top speed and can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.9 seconds. The Huracan unsurprisingly offers similar performance with a 202 miles per hour top speed and a matched 0 to 60 miles per hour time. The excellent gearbox is also shared between the two models and takes the form of a rapid shifting 7 speed dual clutch. Number 9. It has Audi's proven Quattro system. Quattro translates as four in Italian and refers to the four driven wheels in an all-wheel drive system. Audi's flagship supercar would make use of Quattro in order to get the massive power from its V10 down and maximize grip. The Lamborghini Huracan utilizes a similar electronically controlled all-wheel drive system. Number 8. A high-end bang in the Lufsen sound system is available. One big plus for the Audi R8, especially for those who love their music, is the option to select a bang in the Lufsen sound system. Some Huracan owners have reported the sound system available in their cars is fairly lacking, and even in high volumes is too quiet. Number 7. There are many comfort and convenience options. While the interior of the R8 may appear rather tame in comparison to that of the Huracan, it is extremely well put together and a lovely place to spend time. Both bucket and more comfort focused sports seats are available, so depending on your preferences, you should be able to get a comfortable driving position. Number 6. The R8 attracts less attention. The Audi R8 is still a very imposing supercar, however, the car's looks are just that bit more understated. The Huracan, by comparison, is far more angular and aggressive. While many people undoubtedly enjoy the attention owning a supercar brings, sometimes you just want to be able to get around without sticking out like a sore thumb. Number 5. The exhaust note is brutal. While both cars are fitted with the same V10 block, and both produce a thunderous noise, there are some difference, the Huracan is arguably the louder and slightly more aggressive of the two, however, the R8 still sounds glorious. Depress the sports exhaust button on the steering wheel, and the volume ramps up significantly to provide a brutal sound. The differences between the cars is so slight, this is another area, the extra spend on the Huracan is just not justified. Number 4. The R8 offers better practicality. Under the hood of the R8, around 112 liters worth of stuff can be stowed. By comparison, the Huracan can swallow just 99 liters. While neither car fares particularly well, the slight increase in the R8 could prove useful. Thankfully, both cars have space available behind the seats, so you can cram in a few more essentials. Number 3. Servicing and insurance is cheaper. While both cars are very similar mechanically, the Lamborghini badge certainly attracts a premium where insurance is concerned. While insurance costs vary wildly depending on a number of aspects specific to an individual, making a comparison hard. 
the higher purchase cost, availability of parts, increased depreciation, and more expensive repairs mean the Lamborghini Huracan is almost always going to work out the pricier option under any circumstances. Number 2. It is a better daily driver. While neither of these cars are what would traditionally be thought of as a daily, with their reliability and build quality, they shouldn't let you down. Where the R8 excels over its Italian counterpart is with its refinement. The Huracan is deliberately made to offer a raw feel. Consequently, the R8 is better at blocking out annoying wind and road noise, while also offering a more comfortable ride. During regular city driving, the slightly softer suspension makes for a far more enjoyable overall experience. Number 1. The Excellent Virtual Cockpit The virtual cockpit is essentially a 12.3-inch command center, from which the driver can view and control most of the car's features and functions. All the information the driver could require is just a glance away, from the speed, revs, temperatures, tire pressures, and even lap times and g-force readings. So guys, how do you feel about Audi R8? Would you still prefer Lamborghini Huracan over Audi R8 or would save your $54,400? Must tell me in comments, like the video and subscribe my channel HMK.Supercars. In the next upcoming video we'll check out about the more innovative and speedy supercars by Bugatti, Koenigsegg and Pagani. So stay tuned with my other videos, take care and goodbye.